Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today let's deal with a, a subject that really doesn't get much uh, airtime, if you want to call it that way. It's the idea of keeping uh, our flies appropriate to the depth that we're fishing them at. So for example, if you're in a lake and you're fishing on a, with a sinking line and you're getting your flies very deep, I mean, I've hit bottom in 22 foot of water in Lake Erie with a full sinking line, so you can get them very deep. Uh, we often don't appreciate what happens to color as the fly gets deeper. So you can have a very bright uh, colored fly like these two here, uh, this one with red, this one with pink. What happens when it's 10 feet down in green stained water or 15 feet down or 20 feet down? You know, are you still seeing those same colors? Uh, we've got this little fellow right here and uh, you know, that will work well at depth because you've got a dark wing and a, a shiny body and that yellow throat will show up, but that red tail is gonna disappear. You know, same if we're talking about uh, good old black nosed dace. You know, the red will show up, but, uh, uh, sorry, the red won't show up after a while. Uh, uh, up high in the water column, that red is gonna be great. Get it down low, not so great. So what we should be looking at are flies that look more like these three here, where we've got my brown trout weemer, which is brown over white. This one's black over white with a silver body. Here we've got olive over white with a silver body. Those are the kinds of flies that will show up well in deep water. So if you are fishing, you know, green stained water, which is typical what we deal with in freshwater situations, and we're getting that fly down 10, 15, 20 feet, you want a simple color scheme that's going to show up at depth, which is something over white, it's usually, or something over silver, or something over gold, whatever it is, you want a, a color that's going, a color combination that's going to show up when a lot of the other colors are going to disappear, like uh, the red and the pink. I mean, the red tail on this little guy is going to be gone at depth. You know, you, it becomes a, a, a how can I put it? Not a waste of time because you can still catch fish on those flies, but not the best use of the fly. So bright colors should be fished high up, basically. And the simpler flies like this black and white beastie right here, low down. They'll work, that'll work high up too, don't get me wrong, but it'll also work low down. So when you have your fly box open and you're trying to pick a fly to fish at depth, look for those simple, dark over light, shiny, you know, basic patterns, basic color schemes, they're going to work no matter what. In, because at depth, a lot of our fancy colors just disappear or become muddy or, you know, they, they lost, lose their punch. And uh, the fish don't really see them that well. Plus the other thing which is interesting, uh, the, the color spectrum of the fish's eyes uh, are different from what we, we expect with our human eyes. They may not be seeing those colors anywhere near what we think we're se they're seeing them at. So that's the other aspect. And the deeper you get, the more they get down into the basic dark and light. It becomes more important than bright red. So keep that in mind. Dark over light, keep it simple if you're going to be fishing low. If you're going to be fishing high, then the spectrum opens up more. So don't forget that one. It's important if you're fishing your flies quite deep. Cheers.